exciting time to be talking about sex and gender and thinking about how to apply it to health research. I'm Robin Mason and I'm the scientific lead at Women's Exchange. There have been considerable gaps in what we know about the way that men and women respond to treatment, the way that their diagnoses are made, even the ways that they present to healthcare providers are different. We know that both sex and gender do have a role to play and they do influence people's health, um, their, their health outcomes, their health experiences, their treatments and so on. Um, we just don't have the evidence right now because uh, sex and gender are not incorporated as a standard practice um, in health research. So something that we really need to work towards is closing that gap. So this is a fundamental issue and a fundamental problem and it's going to take the entire scientific community to work together with us to help make a big difference here. Knowing more about sex and gender benefits everyone's health. And one of um, the important pieces that we're doing with the Women's Exchange is working with researchers across the province and beyond and helping them when they're starting their studies to think about how can they incorporate information about sex and gender into their research proposal and how do they carry that right through from the start of deciding what their study question is to designing their methods to looking at how their results are going to be presented to the way that information is going to be disseminated. In addition, through our 15K challenge, we're helping to identify gaps in what we know about women's health at the local level. It's an exciting time for us at Women's Exchange. We're finding that there is a real interest in the community of researchers to think about and engage with and challenge themselves with how to do a better job thinking about the sex and gender implications of their important research questions and we are really happy to be able to help them with that.